Medical professionals are showing their support for protesters. They say it is time to recognize racism as a threat to the health and well-being of people of color. CBS 2's Jessica Layton shares one doctor's personal story. On hospital campuses across the country, there was an eight minute and 46 second silent pause to recognize a critical conversation. A cause that, despite a worldwide health crisis, cannot wait another moment. It's very, very moving. White Coats for Black Lives is a movement that's personal in so many ways to ER doctor Chinwe Ogadegbi, a black mother of three boys. Every time they step out, I'm fearful. Fearful, terrified that will they come back? She's humbled to see her work family at Hackensack University Medical Center taking a stand, or rather a knee, recognizing racism as a public health concern while supporting the demonstrations nationwide. If you weren't working so much, would you be out there protesting? Yes, indeed. To show people that disciplined, peaceful protests is very, very needed. The staff here and at SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Jacoby Medical Center, and Memorial Sloan Kettering doing what they can while on the job. We're here acknowledging the injustice. I've never seen so many white friends, allies, colleagues talking about it, being committed. The doctors and nurses who have answered this call to action just spent three months on the front lines of coronavirus, which we know disproportionately affected the African American community. And they're reminding all of those protesting the threat of COVID 19 is still far from over. The 20 to 30 percent that do not have a mask on or take it off should please get a face cover. Adding a piece of advice for all of us making small acts of kindness every day would go a long way. It's a great start. But it's only a start in this marathon mission for change. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.